What's happening YouTube, Jalvi here and welcome back to yet another video and in this video I'm going to tell you how to find your DJ avatar if you've crashed it or if you've lost it flying. Let's go! Alright, so I'm going to be touching on three different ways on how you can find your DJI avatar in place if it crashes or if you lose it. The three methods are using your goggles, using your phone and the DJI Fly app and a special bonus method at the end. Make sure you sit through the entire video and watch till the very end. Let's get into it. It's a beautiful day. You took your DJI avatar out, you're flying it, all of a sudden it crashes into a tree, it drops down, you have no idea where it is. The drone is still on, but you just don't know where exactly it landed. The first thing to do is to go into your DJI goggles and find the last video right before your DJI avatar crashed. To do that, all you have to do is open up the side menu by using the touchpad on your goggles, navigate to settings, then safety, followed by scrolling all the way down to camera last view before loss. This will play the last available footage right before the drone crashed or landed. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, let's just say that that video itself just isn't gonna cut it. That's where the last GPS coordinates will come into play. Grab your phone, open up the DJI Fly app, go to your profile, and then click on to find my drone. You have a few information pieces on the screen. Let's start with the uh, most straightforward one. Right in, in the middle of the screen, you see the navigation arrow. That's basically the last known position of your drone. On top of that, you have a little thumbnail with a video preview. If you click on that, you would be able to access the last bit of footage that the goggles on the phone captured in its cache right before the drone landed. Um, but let's just say that in itself isn't going to cut it. You want to sort of see exactly what the view from the drone is like. So at the bottom, this button here, if you click on this button, this will basically show you the live view from the uh, drone to sort of see what the drone sees. And then maybe find a common point from the drone point of view and in you know the area around you, whatever surrounds you. If you can find that common landmark, you'd be able to spot it easily. But let's just say even that isn't healthy. You just can't spot your drone. That's exactly where the flashing and beeping option comes in handy. So what I'm gonna show you now is how exactly that works. So as soon as you hit the start flashing beeping button, there we go. You can see that the drone started beeping and it's gonna continue doing that until or unless I stop or I press stop flashing and beeping. There we go. So pretty handy option to find your drone using the GPS coordinates find your drone using the last available video, find your drone using the video output from the actual drone, or using the start flashing and beeping option. Fantastic, well, that covers everything, doesn't it? Well, no. What about a scenario where you crash your drone and it pops the battery out? What I've seen a couple of YouTubers uh, mention is that as soon as the Avada crashes, in some instances, this battery here will pop out. It will actually just come out of the drone. You'll have the battery out somewhere else and then you'll have your drone crashing in a different location, maybe close to each other, but you know what I mean. And if that's the case, your drone is not going to be on, which means you can't make it beep. You also cannot uh, see the live view from the drone. What do you do then? Well, this is where the little Apple tags hack come in. I have purchased a few of these Apple Air tags, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one of these to the battery and then another one of these to the drone right here. What will that, what that'll do is it'll allow me to find the drone and the battery, even if the battery runs out, if the drone is completely flat, dead, or if the battery popped out, right? And the way it works is actually pretty straightforward. So let me show you the Apple Find My uh, app and how that works. Um, if you don't like Apple, there are a few other alternatives available. Um, feel free to go with them, but yeah, because I have, I'm, I'm part of the Apple, 
uh, ecosystem, it was just easier for me to go with Apple AirTags. So once I have an AirTag, I set it up, I name it, I stick it to my drone. Then if I go into find my app, I go into items. In the list of items, you can see it says DJI Avatar. Let's just say, you know, I've lost it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this AirTag right in the corner here, that my, of my just table here. Now, if I go to Avatar and I go, cool, let's see, it says nearby. So it's telling me the Avatar is nearby, which is this tag here. So yep, it's nearby. It's uh, giving me an option to play a sound. So let's try that first. If I go play sound, very clear, very audible. This is gonna come in super handy if my drone was lost and it was out of battery. So that's fantastic. The other way to use Apple AirTags is to actually use Find Nearby. And what it'll do then, it will basically connect to the actual AirTag and tell me how far it is from the phone using the Bluetooth technology. So right now it says here, but if I take it away from the phone, you can kind of see it says a meter away, which basically is yeah, approximately right, right? So if I start moving it closer, it will say nearby, the phone will start vibrating. And then once you're super close, it will say here, right? So this is a very cool and very easy way to make sure in instances where your drone is out to battery or if, you know, the battery popped out during landing or a crash, you can still find your drone. Because let's be honest, like the battery isn't cheap by itself. So I'm gonna just get two air tags, pop one on the battery, pop one on the drone. That way at least I have that peace of mind that, hey, I can find my drone. And the way it's gonna work is if, let's just say I was flying my drone, I crashed it, battery came out. First, I'm gonna use the last known GPS coordinates to get close to the actual location of the crash. Once I'm there, I can then use the either the ECS beeping or the beep and flash functionality within um, the app. Uh, if that works, fantastic. But if the battery is flat or the battery is not inside the drone, is that I can use the actual air tag to either make a sound to you know audibly find my drone, or I can use find my feature to sort of get close to the drone and then spot it using the you know Bluetooth tracking technology that Apple AirTags uses. So there you go. The features that I've here explained for DJI Avatar should work on other DJI drones as well, because most of the DJI drones, you know, they either use DJI Fly or the DJI Go 4 app. Both the apps have Find My Drone option within the profile tab. So if you have a different drone, you know, you can use the same instructions. But yeah, I would highly recommend buying some Apple AirTags and stick them onto your battery and your DJI Avatar. That's it. If you got any value out of this video, and if you wanna see more videos um, out of this channel, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel, if you could like this video, and maybe hit that notification bell icon. What it does, it, it really helps my video to come up in more places on YouTube, because the algorithm picks up on the video, and therefore the reach increases. And you know, it just kind of motivates me to create more content. And that's what I want to do. I want to create more content for you. So if you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Well, that's about it. Until next video, take care of yourself. And if you're flying, fly safe. Catch you later.